In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can trade different coins and cryptocurrencies on Uniswap. So if you're tired of using centralized exchanges like Coinbase and Binance and Gemini, and if you wanna trade on a decentralized exchange, then this is the largest one out there. And let's get into the tutorial. For starters, before you can actually start to make trades on Uniswap, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a Web3 wallet, so a MetaMask wallet, or a Coinbase wallet or something similar. And you're going to need to have some Ethereum in that wallet because Uniswap is an app that's built upon the Ethereum blockchain. And so when you're making swaps, you need some ETH in your wallet in order to pay for the transaction fees. Now, once you have a Web3 wallet with some ETH in it, you can go to app.uniswap.org and you can connect. It's in the top right corner. You hit the connect button. You choose whichever wallet you want to use. I'm going to hit MetaMask here and I'm automatically connected. Now, the app detects how much ETH I have in my wallet. So you can see if I open her up here that I have 0.036 ETH here. And that is what is available for trading currently. So now we're ready to actually trade on Uniswap. But what are we going to buy? Well, if you have an idea of what you want to purchase, you can just select a token here and you can search for it. So let's say if I wanted to buy Rocket Pool ETH, I could search for our ETH and then I could make this trade right here. I can trade up to 0.26 because it's going to hold some of that max balance in reserve to pay for gas fees for this transaction. But what if I don't know exactly what I want to buy? Well, I can go to the tokens tab here and see what the top tokens are currently on Uniswap. And you can search based on different time frames. So for example, if I want to look over the last one hour, what are the top coins? Well, you can see, for example, aside from ETH and USDC, the roll Bitcoin has been trading quite a lot on Uniswap. Also coming in at number nine is the Harry Potter Obama Sonic Inu ETH token, which goes by the ticker symbol Bitcoin. And when I try to trade this, it says this token isn't traded on leading US centralized exchanges and that you should always conduct your own research before trading, which I definitely understand. Now, I'm absolutely not going to be buying this, but if we look at the price chart here, you can see that this one has run up a lot since June, and it is one of the popular meme coins of the season. And really one of the big benefits of using Uniswap to trade is that you have access to all kinds of different tokens and coins that you won't find on centralized exchanges like Coinbase. In fact, if we go back to the main swap page here and scroll through the tokens, you can see just how many different coins and tokens there are here. And this is not even all of them. You can actually search for a token that will not show up on this list automatically. There is thousands, probably at this point, tens of thousands of different coins and tokens out there that can be traded through Uniswap. But once you've decided what you actually want to trade for, the process is pretty simple. You select what you're trading from. So in this case, I have ETH selected, but let's say I had some USDC in this. I don't, but if I did, I could also swap USDC into a different token, or you can swap pretty much any pair that you can imagine, although you'll probably get some of the best rates if you're trading with ETH or a stable coin. These ones that show up here that are kind of pinned to the top, these are the highest liquidity tokens and coins that you can trade with. So you select what you're trading from and you select what you're trading to, and then you can choose either how much you want to pay in ETH, for example, or you can choose down here how much you want to receive. So if I wanted to receive 0.1 Ave, and I could select it just like that, then you would hit the swap button and then you would have to confirm the swap. This network fee here is telling you how much it's going to cost to make this trade. And I'm going to tell you in one second, a tip that you can use to greatly reduce the amount that you'll be spending on transaction fees. So if you hit confirm swap, then it pops up in your Web3 wallet, in this case, MetaMask, where you'll have to actually confirm the transaction. Now I'm gonna reject this now because the gas fees are very high and I don't wanna pay that amount of money to make a small trade. But if you did want to trade on the Ethereum network, then that is exactly how you do it. But this is my pro tip. If you want to save money on transaction fees, then you should trade on a layer two network, not on the Ethereum mainnet. So for example, Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, or Base. Let's say I select the Polygon network. It's gonna ask me to change the network in my MetaMask account. And you can see I do have some assets on the Polygon network. I have some Matic. So I could actually make a trade here from let's say Matic to wrapped ETH. And if I wanted to trade to Matic, into wrapped ETH, then I would be trading approximately $1. But the transaction fees will cost one penny. So you'll see as I hit swap, and then there's the network fee there. If I hit confirm swap, it's gonna pop up in my wallet asking me to confirm this, which I will do just to show you how it works. 
and there you go, swap submitted. And once you get this confirmation pop up, it means your trade has gone through. If I open up my MetaMask account here and go to tokens, yeah, you can see I now have $1.12 USD worth of wrapped ether in my account. And let's say I wanted to swap back into Matic. I would just hit this arrow button here. I could select max and then give it a second, hit swap. Confirm the swap in my Web3 wallet. First, I actually have to access the WETH. Confirm the swap in my MetaMask wallet and the swap is submitted and we're good to go. So yeah, that is how you trade on Uniswap. You can use all of these different networks here. Base is another popular one and I've also done a tutorial on how to get assets to Base because the Base blockchain is quite popular nowadays. And just for fun, let's make a trade on base as well. Let's say I wanna trade my USDC for ETH on base. Well, I have five USDC, I could hit max there, and then I'll be able to swap for 24 cents. Now, the cost to make a transaction on base network is slightly higher than the cost to make a transaction on the Matic network, and the different layer twos all have varying costs, but you can see it's a hell of a lot cheaper than if you're trying to make a trade on the Ethereum mainnet. So good luck out there. I'm definitely not telling you what to buy, but if you wanted to use Uniswap, then it's definitely a great decentralized exchange. Have a great day.